Well, look who I found. Late night, Mike Mizak. This is Mike Mizak after dark, everyone. Are, are you ready for me? He's yeah, like, I'm I not am. so sure. Like you got into those margaritas, yeah, I know, he's you? like, I don't know what was in that smoothie. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, Mike is back, and not only, well, I've known you for what, over 20 oh, years. God, yeah. He's the go-to guy. I mean, really, the, the gold standard, forgive the phrase, the platinum standard, or however you want to look at it, when it comes to collecting coins. Oh, a lot of things. We are both... You know, Disney Files, mm -hmm. and this is a terrific way to start things off. We've got a jam-packed two-hour show with you with you tonight. 90th anniversary. Yeah. It's true. And it looks good. I want to know what skincare he's using. Yeah, that's right. Looking good, <laughs> huh? Looking good. Uh, uh, here's the, the interesting part about this is we've sold exclusive Disney products here for, for years, 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 as long true. as I've been here. I've never had anything, I don't think, less than $100. Oh, less than right. 79, sure. certainly not less than 79, 59. I've never had an official Disney authorized collectible at $39.95. Wow. That is an ounce of pure silver. Oh, man. You know what's That's so funny. an ounce of pure silver for $39.95. Those things have never come together before. Well, because when you think about the intrinsic collector's value of just mm -hmm. anything, Disney, especially Mickey Mouse, I mean, the mm -hmm. figurehead for mm -hmm. Disney, basically. Mm -hmm. But then it's, it's, you got the silver, too? Right. Oh, wow. And that's the amazing part of this. Huh. Disney collectibles, I mean, you know, normally when we do, uh, you know, go to hsn.com, uh, uh, you know, most of our Disney collectibles are $129, $179, yes. $199. But $39.95, this was a specially produced collectible. They only did 250,000 of these for the 90th anniversary, as you can see right there. And so it, it is a tremendous collectible that, that you're going to have. We have an extraordinarily limited quantity. Yeah, it yeah. is affordable. It is Disney. And if you've ever done, you know, who hasn't been to Disney World? Right. Um, everything is perfect. You know, everything is perfect. All the color. And so when we did this coin, I mean, you know, it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, ten rounds of you going back and forth until everything about this is 100% perfect. Well, by the way, though, I know Mike mentioned this, but it is it is 90 seconds or sellout, and incidentally, those quantity lefts, when you see them, do not take into consideration the manner in which people are placing their order. Precisely. So, just remember, this is a one and done, $39.95. Whether you, this, this is an easy foray, I think, into what you do, because even if you don't collect coins per mm -hmm. se, chances are whether it's you, whether it's a grandson, a granddaughter, yourself, for any Disney file in your life, this was absolutely a perfect way to put your toe in the water. You know, I'm like the biggest Disney freak. I know. Of course, you, you know that. You your wife there, well, right? I did. Absolutely the thought. case. Yeah, I, got, yeah. I always wear my, my, you know, my lucky Mickey socks every time I'm on the air, have for 20, 20 years. Uh, it's just the way that it is. And so, you know, this is something that I'm real happy to be yeah. able to bring up because of the affordability. So many people are, you know, I want to get into kind of Disney collectibles, but you know, $100, $200, yeah, no, $250, right. $39.95 for the ounce of of silver in this puts this entire thing into affordability, collectability, sure. desirability. As you can see, only 20 dozen left. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, people are clearly buying multiples oh, on these. Because, sure. you know, they got more than one child, more than one niece or nephew, more than one grandchild, and you want to make sure everybody's taken care of. By the way, each coin does come in its own individual airtight holder. Nice. So you can, and look at that. Oh, see, there you go. That's why we put them in the airtight holders. That's right. And there he, there's the big man himself right there. Uh, 90 years old. Like you said, he's looking Good, he it? is looking good. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I want to know what skincare he's using. <laughs> but it is, it's a wonderful place. It's a great little launching pad. Mm -hmm. So first come, first served, literally a couple hundred to go around. 653090. All right, we've got a lot to get to in this two hours of time together. In fact, we have a little we're we're stopping the show. We're not messing around. We we gotta go, <laughs> we gotta go with this. This is going to be uh this is uh, I'm I'm final quantities. Finally. Okay. I mean I, I I'm going to tell the story here in just yeah. a second. We're going to spend a few minutes here. I basically owned most of these. Okay. And we have been grading these and selling these and making these available at our original issue price for about a year and a half now. That time is coming to a close, and, and that's the problem. So as we look at this, so the United States government, we've got to go back to 1986. President Ronald Reagan signs the Liberty Coin Act in 1986, creating the most popularly collected, at the time, silver coin in the world. 
Fast forward to 2019, it has now become the most popularly collected coin in the wow. world. I mean, it is the backbone of the modern numismatic hobby is the American Silver Eagle and all of its various permutations. So if you, you look at 1986, they start making what they call mint state MS Silver Eagles that you have right there. From 1986 to 2019, every year. They started making proof American silver eagles okay. in 1986 through 2019, with, with the exception of one year, 2009. They made burnished American silver eagles, a special collector uncirculated version from 2006, virtually unabated to 2019. Now, if you take every single solitary one of those coins, all the mint state, all the proof, all the burnished, the regular issue coins, this coin is the rarest. Oh, is it really? 2017. But based on the fact that sold out, you okay. know, coins that have been sold out from the United States Mint, that, you know, we know the mintages of the final, the final mintages that have been done, this coin is the rarest regular issue American Silver Eagle, uh, officially the rarest uh, American issue Silver Eagle that has ever been done by the United States Mint. Now, <laughs> the key to that is, okay, so now you have the king of the American Silver Eagles. It's 100%. It's 100% the rarest regular issue sold out limit edition in the United States gover government eagle, period. It's certified absolutely perfect, Mint State 7, in our exclusive Premier Select Series holder. This is exclusive to me. I'm the only one that can sell the NGC PSS coins. So I have an exclusive label on the rarest American Silver Eagle, like I said, a, a regular issue. So you have got all of those things, so that's fantastically collectible. Now here's what happened with this. We figured this out. If you look at our war room, if, if you will, it's just, it's just charts and graphs and we're tracking mintages and how fast they're being ordered and all this other thing. So we figured out in to early 2018, this was going to be the rarest American Eagle. So we go out there and at the time and buy, there's about 15% of the mintage remaining, which is 25 or 27,000 coins. We bought them all. Oh, wow. Every single one of them. This and you're looking at what we have left, Ooh. this right here, this right here is the final batch of wow. all those that we've graded. So we've graded all 27,000 coins now, okay? We've sold them in both Annex and PSS. The PSS is exclusive to us, the Annex first day of issue, of course, exclusive to us, and we are down now to, as you can see, hundreds of coins. At one point, we had literally thousands of coins. Now, they didn't grade particularly well, so we didn't have 25,000 certified coins. In PSS, I think there's five or 6,000 is all okay. there is. We're down to the final hundreds of these. So what you've got is now, this was the original issue price that I had in 2017. I have not raised this price one single solitary cent. Even so we have had the quantity, we've controlled the market. I could have made this 159 or 179 or 199, yeah. and that's what it's gonna be in the future once we sell out, okay. and, and, and that's been, uh, this is in essence the wholesale price. And like I said, we're down to hundreds now. We're down to hundreds of these. And at $139.95, it kind of ticks all those boxes of collectability. Okay, rarest, and there's only one rarest regular issue Silver Eagle, and it's this. Yeah. All the mint coins, all the proof coins, all the burnished coins, this is the rarest. Now, it's far rarer than every proof Silver Eagle ever made by the United States government. There's not one, not one proof Silver Eagle that I can sell you for $139.95 in proof 70 condition. As a matter of fact, they start for me at 179.95 to, I think we sold a 96 here, I don't know, it was eight or $10,000, something like that. So they range from about 200 to let's say 5,000. This is rarer than every single solitary. Really? Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. If you take a look at this, Mint State American Silver, because we sell, I have a, a, a 1986 coming up here. $399, it is a steal. It is an absolute steal at $399, we'll sell them all. This coin is 15 times rarer. That's, that's, that's not true. 30 times oh, rarer. 30? Okay, yeah, <laughs> I underestimated. 30 times rarer than that coin at $399.95 in the same grade. There are dozens of Mint State American Silver Eagles that I cannot sell you at $139.95 and 70, and this is rarer than all of them. The 2000 American Eagle, I was just looking at it today. I was trying to get in some 2000 Eagles. Lowest price I could sell those for in Mint State 70 is, I don't know, $2,500? No kidding. Yeah. I, I, in 2000, I sold 5,000 of those coins for 50 bucks. Oh, you 
Okay, yeah. They're, they're all like $2,500 now, okay? <laughs> all those, wow. So all you people that bought those mid-state 70s from me, they're worth a whole lot of money. <laughs> Just want to let you know, I had no idea. I knew they were worth like five, 600. I didn't realize it's literally thousands. This coin is rarer than that coin. So the key to this is absolute, complete rarity of the coin and then grade. So now you have an absolutely so, uh, positively perfect coin. Then add in the label. And I hate to, what we call, play the label game. You know, oh, it's rare because of this label right, or right, that label. Right. But this is an important label, this Premier Select Series. This is, this is a deal that we did with NGC to, to do basically key date coins. The okay. only coins, we, not just any coin can go into a PSS label. Premier Select Series. That means that's a coin within the series, okay? that is crucial to the collectability of the, of the series. We call them key date coins. So in the American Silver Eagle, they've made, I don't know, 100 different American Silver Eagles. There's gonna be three or four or five or six that are gonna fit into PSS, okay? okay? This is the only one currently that is in a PSS holder. There is no other American Silver Eagle that I sell that's in a PSS holder, just this coin right here. This is the only coin that met the standard because it's the rarest. Right. So you've got this label, which is important because it designates rarity in of the fact that it's in this label. Now get in the fact that it's Mint State 70. Now get in the fact that this is right now exclusively available for me and us right here at HSN. You can't buy this coin anywhere else unless they have bought it on the secondary market and are selling it for whatever they choose sure. to sell it for. This is the lowest price I've ever sold it for. Here is $139.95. And Shannon, I just noticed FlexPay, which you, I, I, I saw you, I saw I you, you focus you, you it in on yeah, that. I mean, the smoke was coming out right. of my ears. So take all that into consideration, but then there, there's so many things that Mike does that is different and really groundbreaking when it comes to coin collecting. Not the least of which is something that we partner with him on, and that is something called FlexPay. So for $46.65, because Mike usually, especially in a case like this, when we talk about limited availability and the uniqueness and the exclusiveness and the special labeling, you know, all of those factors take into play. No, it, we should not have done FlexPay. We shouldn't have done this price. But FlexPay does mean quite literally you can get it at home for $46 and change plus shipping, handling, and tax. You still, as per all of our items here at HSN, get a 30-day money-back guarantee. That is not the standard <laughs> when it comes to coin collecting. And we often refer to it as a Wild West, but, I mean, that's actually no joke. <laughs> I mean, so the fact that you know, you know what you know what you know, meaning you're getting what you're paying for, you also get the insider information that we rely on from Mike. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you can get it at home and test the waters for $46.65, but that is only, and I repeat, only for the couple hundred, basically, that we have available the for the one show. thing I can guarantee to you okay. is that today is the last day that you're oh, going to get this sure. at $139.95. Because sure. yeah. I have the primetime show tonight. I know the quantities oh, that are available yeah. uh, uh, on this. Now, I may be able to go into the market and get other people might have bought smaller quantities of these coins. Okay. Okay. However, yeah. I'm going to have to pay a significant sure premium. Yeah. So if I do that, then my price is going to have to be 159, 169. I'm assuming probably 179. So not the is, 139. No, no, price. that's the that's the issue. And, okay. and see, people always say, so we'll never see this coin again. Absolutely not. Right. I mean, I'm you're right. going to see this coin <laughs> as long as I'm selling coins because it's the rarest American silver deal. It's a big deal. Yeah. What you what the deal is is as a collectible, you're just not going to see this price. Gotcha. That's the issue. Yes, it's always going to be that. The 2011 American Reverse Proof. Yeah, I sold them at $199 when they first came out. When I sell them now, they're $1,500. Yeah. That's what happens. That 2000 American Silver Eagle, I sold those for $49.95. Silver was two bucks an ounce back then. <laughs> Okay, today they're $2,000 to $3,000. Wow. So yes, I will continue to sell them. Absolutely no doubt about it, but I just can't do the price. And that's what you have here is this price opportunity wow. at $139.95. And today, today is that final price opportunity that you're looking at at this $139.95. I, I significantly, significantly think that this is a coin that you 100% must add to your collection. If you're a serious collector, if you collect uh, rarity, desirability, this is the coin in the holder, in the label, in the grade, with the rarity, it's absolute perfection. You know what, I think the last show I did with you, with, with Steve, with Rocky, he asked the question, and our earpieces, Mike, you know, where should I start? I'm thinking about, this, 
It was, because that just, that just like stuck out my mind. It was actually this coin. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, because I know that must be one of the most frequently asked questions you get. Where should no, I no. start? Where should I begin? 100%. What, you know, what should I do? When Mike Nizak is saying, you know, this is, a good, this is a good place, you know, to start that collection. I mean, yep. it really is. So a final, final, final quantities at this price. Final, final, final quantities at this price. Perfect five-star reviews. So remember, we have a select number, actually final 300. So even Mike, will will be incumbent upon whatever the secondary price you know Precisely. market will be after you, you've spoken out. Yeah. I, I was wondering if there's any way we could look there's an item that we're going to have tonight oh okay. 664211 i don't know if we can get that or not but okay. when we do okay. this is huge right. we're flying it in. It's, it's literally on a plane to us first thing in the morning so when we get to that it it is a huge uh, uh it's a huge deal this is it right here oh wow and so it's the brand new proof set from the united states government that's you know whatever yeah. okay okay See that penny? Yeah. The first West Point minted penny in the history of the United States government comes as a bonus coin. We Ooh. have the brand new ones. I have a grade. It's proof 69. That's the highest grade that's graded because yeah. there's, there's no 70s on this. $99, and you get the rest of the proof set. You get the certified coin that you can see right there. We're going to do that tonight. Oh, wow. I'm giving you a heads up on that. Sorry about that, folks. It is going to be monstrous. Our wow. first day of issue, 2019, West Point minted. The first West Point minted Lincoln cent. Now, Wow. Yeah, what's this? This looks interesting. This is cool. We're going yeah. back in time. Actually, okay. I'm going to take these out. Of, yeah. I'm going to take these out of here and put them down here. These are what we call the transition proof sets. We okay. get them every now and then when they change coins. Oh. Okay. So, like, if, for instance, if I did a transition penny proof set, that would be 1909. Okay. Okay, because that's the last time they changed the penny. <laughs> okay. Okay. If I did a Washington quarter proof set, it'd be 1932. Okay. If I did a Roosevelt dime proof set, okay, it would be 1946. If I did a, a Jefferson nickel, it would be 1936. So, understand, we don't get transitions very much. So, the last big transition we had was the half dollar. This was the last transition. In 1963, we made Franklin half dollars, okay. and in 1964, we made Kennedy half dollars. Now, were it not for the tragic assassination of John F. Kennedy, we would have never made a Kennedy half dollar. Oh, yeah. So here's what it comes down to. So we, we decide to honor him on the, on, on the largest circulating coin at the time. These are silver. This is silver. The quarters and dimes are silver. These are proof sets, folks. These are stunning examples of United States coins. These are silver. In the United States government issue uh, 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 that you're going to have right here, this is all the original stuff. And this has got this great thing. Oh, I always see. like to read yeah. that. Uh, your UF pr proof coins have been carefully inspected and then sealed in a transparent envelope. This package was designed to present or delay tarnishing or discoloration. As you can see, we've put these, uh, we've individually hand selected these. Nevertheless, I love this. Sooner or later, uh, tarnishing may, uh, may occur. Care and handling and storing will help prolong the newly minted luster of the coins. Please do not ask us to make exchanges or adjustments. If there should appear what may seem to you, idiot collector, <laughs> a defect or a scratch on this coin, it is no doubt a crease in the packaging material. We tell you this to save us both unnecessary correspondence. That is customer service from the United States Mint in 1963. And just to be clear, <laughs> that is not HS Sands. No, no, no. No, that's 30 the thing. day. <laughs> 30 day. <laughs> no Mother questions asked. If, if what may just appear, to be clear. If what, what may appear to you to be a defect and scratch it may well be it probably is right. you, you you care about your collectibles please send it back and we'll give you a brand new one <laughs> but that's what it was for the united states mint 1963 those come with most of these yeah. uh, uh, that they're gonna have this is the very first kennedy the only one they made in 90 percent silver this is the very last franklin if you go to the nationally advertised catalog that the the the, the, the uh, uh Franklin and the Kennedy alone are $60 a piece. Oh, are they really? Yes, yeah, so, so $119 would cover just these. Oh, the, wow. uh, uh, the quarters are $30 a piece because they're silver. The dimes are $20 a piece. You got the nickels and the and the pennies in there are, you know, three or four bucks a piece with that. So coin by coin, you're about 250 bucks. We're $119.95. The key to that is not just the $119.95, but it's in the original government packaging, just like you see it right here. I love this. They used to mail these to you. Did they really? Yeah, you just oh, type yeah. their name and you put a stamp oh, on them. When I was a kid, that's yeah. how you got them. Wow. And I love the return address. Treasury Department, United <laughs> States Mint. So just send it back to the big building with all the money. That's 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 the return. That's address. actually kind of where my, and, and, I was going. Yeah. And here's how they sent it. The way it was, there was two pieces oh, of cardboard, word. as you can see, that protected that, and then they would put. 
this right in here, that's your little thing telling you, you're, you know, don't look at the coins real close. And this one, this is somebody they sent it to in 19, uh, oh, funny. Journal Square Incorporated got this proof set in 1963. I don't know, it's still in the original package. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, isn't that crazy? So you get all that 100% original, 1963, 1964, hey. United States government issued proof set. Hey, also on FlexPay, $39.98, so fewer than 150. We've got more with Mike. Oh, the Apollo 11, coming up. Coming up. April is Customer Appreciation Month. And to show how much we appreciate you, HSN Cares will donate $1,000 a day in April to the charities you love. Nominate your favorite charity and help make a difference in your community. Search HSN Cares on hsn.com right now to learn more. Understand, every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions for individual needs of real women, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Backed by over 30 years experience, made from important ingredients combined with advanced science for affordable skincare that truly works. Change the story of your skin and your life forever. Genuine beauty begins with skin. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Coin collector after dark. I Come guess. I, exactly. Mike's like, oh. I don't know. It's I'm early enough nervous. in the morning. I don't know. Exactly. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right. Well, Mike is here. You're here. This is coin collecting. You're going to learn a lot. I promise you that. Mike has been doing this. And he really sets the standard when it comes to coin collecting in the industry. But even if you've never collected coins before, you told me that this was coming in before it ever arrived here at HSN. This is another one of those global attraction pieces yep. beyond the world of coin collecting. I know it's something you're super excited about. Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, and it's not just the Apollo thing. Right. Look, we'll, we'll, we have some Apollo other stuff coming up. This truly transcends the Apollo itself, this particular set. So they did the 50th anniversary, of course, of Apollo 11. Huge deal. Okay, uh, they did a, a five dollar piece, which will or a five ounce uh, American uh, silver piece, which we'll do here in just a minute. Uh, they did a, a, a silver dollar. They did a fifty cent coin. They did a five dollar gold coin. They did all these fantastic coins, and they've made special commemoratives of all of them. And we'll show you some of them here coming up after this. But this set kind of took us by surprise, and it is now taking the hobby by storm. When the United States government, the United States Mint, released their product list, which what they do of all the Apollos that they're going to do, everybody's attention was drawn to the shiny objects, the five-ounce uh, uh, coin that was done, which, of course, is spectacular. Uh, the curved one-ounce coin, the curved 50-cent coin, the curved uh, uh, five-dollar gold coin. Everybody's attention was there. And then they announced they were going to do this little two-coin half-dollar set. And we said, yeah, okay, they're going to do the half-dollar uh, uh, proof and the half-dollar are uncirculated, both in the Apollo design. Then at the last minute, they realized that what they were going to do is this coin right here. They're going to do the Kennedy half dollar instead of the uncirculated. And so they made a Kennedy half dollar, and we put it in there, and we thought, okay, well, that was, you know, it is what it is. It's just a Kennedy half dollar, although those are cool and collectible and desirable. And then they announced, oh, yeah, we're not just doing a Kennedy half dollar. We're doing a Kennedy half dollar in enhanced reverse proof. So you see it's 
RP for reverse proof, but it's enhanced reverse proof. And then all of a sudden everyone went, okay, so the United States government has made billions and billions and billions and billions of coins, maybe even as many as a trillion coins, probably actually well over a trillion coins. And in the history of the United States Mint, they've made all kinds of different finishes, reverse proof, enhanced finish, uh, matte finish, proof uncirculated, regular uh, collector uncirculated, but they have never made, they have never made an enhanced reverse proof coin. And this coin, this enhanced reverse proof Kennedy half dollar is only available in the two coin set. So now you'd assume, okay, they're doing this, so they're gonna make a whole bunch of these because they made, you know, uh, 200,000, uh, uh, 400,000 silver dollars and all that other, no. They made 100,000 coins available only in this set and they are completely and totally and 100% sold out from the United States government and the ungraded, uncertified sets are now basically double their original original issue price completely and totally sold out. It is, it is the hottest coin in the marketplace today, and it's because of this coin right here. Because it's not just that this is a special Apollo Kennedy half dollar, but this now becomes the most unique, the most collectible, the most desirable coin I think ever released by the United States government is this coin right here, because they have never done a two process, in essence, two finish United States American coin, and they happen to do it in an incredibly limited edition, and they happen to do it in one of the most popularly collected coins in the world today, which is the Kennedy half dollar. And people ask, why, why did they do the Kennedy half dollar? And the reason is, is because John F. Kennedy is the president that sent us to the moon, in essence. He's the one that challenged America to go to the moon. He, uh, he, he issued that challenge at a, a speech that he was giving at Rice University in 1962. And that, the, uh, some of the text of that speech is on the reverse of this that you see uh, uh, right there, and so that you can look at all of those things. And you go into there, and that's what it says. You can see December uh, 12, 1962, and there's president. President John F. Kennedy, and so that's why they did uh, the Kennedy half dollar. And, and he says, and it's, it's kind of a famous quote, he says, we go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And we do these things and others because it's the measure of the best of our energies and skills. And so this is the best of America, the entire Apollo thing. I mean, it is the embodiment of American ingenuity, of American courage, of American brilliance, of American dominance is all about Apollo. Apollo 11. I love the Apollo 11, you know, the whole, the whole thing with that. So, so they said, okay, here's what we're going to do. They're talking to the astronauts. So we're going to take and put you in this little capsule. We're going to put about 300 tons of rocket fuel underneath you. We're going to light it on fire. With any luck at all, we're going to get you to the moon. And with, if we have even more luck, we're going to get you home. Are you in? And they go, oh, yeah, we're in 100%. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> and that's what this is. Wow. Okay? That's what... That is. That is Buzz Aldrin's face shield. That's wow. the famous thing that you're going to have right there. You can see that that's the... the it the, looks the, like the, the shot. It is the shot. And there it is. That's Neil Armstrong. There's his shadow, Buzz Aldrin's shadow, oh, coming this man. way. There's the American flag and the lunar lantern. Now, two things about this. Okay. okay? First of all, with this coin, because of the mirror finish with that, okay? okay right there, and because of the footprint, this coin in proof 70 condition is virtually impossible to get. It is extraordinarily difficult to get. The grading percentage, in other words, how many of these uh, are, are graded 70, is very, very minuscule as opposed to how many were made. And there were only 100,000 of these sets. So you have to understand, even though the set is so desirable and all that, this coin very, very difficult to get in proof 70 condition. This coin, the very first enhanced reverse proof coin. And I'm not going to talk about Kennedy half dollar or commemorative. That is the only enhanced reverse proof coin ever made in the history of the United States Mint right here. It is the, it is the single hottest coin in the numismatic market today. Absolutely, positively, hands down, no doubt about it. That is the number one coin that you want. That one right there. Okay, but again, now Mike has a primetime show coming up tonight. And to put things in perspective, 
So globally, when you think about the availability, 100,000, this goes beyond the realm of traditional coin collecting for a lot of different reasons. In fact, if you watched that big awards show last weekend, I don't know if, you, if mm -hmm. Mike saw First Man or not, but yeah. I think there's maybe even more of a renewed awareness of, of man being on the moon. Yes, and, and there's a new documentary coming out about Apollo 11 oh, that'll be out yes. uh, next week, I believe. Right. That's supposed to be, it's supposed to be huge. And, and now, so you have to understand, this is not just an Apollo 11 thing. We're gonna give you the packaging comes with this That's as well, cool. which really is cool. important because there's actually an error in the packaging. Oh. If you look at the reverse design right here, yeah. it has that. Uh, it has on both these that Gilroy Roberts designed both the obverse and the reverse. The reverse was designed actually by Frank Gasparro. Oh. So uh, uh, they just did it. And the error packaging comes with this, with the certificate of oh, authenticity wow. from the United States Mint and all that. But I, I, I don't want to, you cannot overlook how important this coin is. It is the single most significant coin made by the United States government, the single most important coin made by the United States government, I would say, in the last 50 years, because oh, wow. it's Kennedy half dollar. There's 100,000, making it the rarest clad Kennedy half dollar ever made by the United States government of any kind. Now, for the fact that it's reverse proof, and it's enhanced reverse proof that's never been done. They've done reverse proof coins. They average $500 sure. a coin. They've done enhanced uncirculated coins. They average $500 a coin. They have never done a coin that's enhanced reverse proof. It is critical to the collectability and desirability. They're completely and totally sold out from the United States government. As you can see, at $249, wow. comes with the Red Oak presentation box that you see right here. The set goes right into that uh, uh, incredible box as well. That is included. It is my original issue wow. price at $249.95. It's quantity, my the quantity yeah, that the I Yeah, the quantity is, is that's that, it. Yeah, is that really fun. it? Yeah, we have, we have only several hundreds of these oh, left. Wow. And the only reason I can do that is because we bought them before they sold out. Oh, if I was gotcha. to go into the marketplace today, I'd be at least $349 and probably $399 okay. uh, because sets on these ungraded, uncertified sets have about doubled, have oh, about no doubled kidding. in value. Absolutely critical for you to well, get in on this right and now. And remember, what we've got is what we've got. It, I, I say this right. often when I'm on the 100%. air with Mike. I mean, this is not one of those typical shows where we say, oh, you can shop seven days a week, 24 hours a day, <laughs> right? You know, where it's like, oh, right, guys, we, get that. we can do back order, we can do wait list. You know, don't worry, we won't make more. I mean, this what, what we have is quite literally what we have. So definitely consider it. Remember, there are just a little over 600 of those, actually less than that now, because I know a lot of you actually shop. Actually, you have as many people shop when you're not on the air yes. as you do when, when you are on the air, which that's significant for a couple of reasons. So when you do see a quantity left or when we talk about quantity, bear in mind, that's definitely an act quickly kind of situation because a, a lot of Mike's customers actually shop after the fact, and then you really run the risk of not getting something yeah and here's another clear example you snooze you lose and this is a great la launching well, point i basically been doing this time slot for 25 years okay yeah so not everybody s stays up with us okay <laughs> why not <laughs> yes, i understand that and so what happens the only danger in that is the fact that we do get sellouts but uh, sure. because of that yep. uh, and, and speaking of which this, this is, is so cool this is one of these so Oh my We've gosh. just finally got so now I told you how hard the half dollar coin is to grade. Okay, now how difficult do you think the one dollar coin is to grade? So one of the things I always uh, people always want to know. Okay, uh, what are you and Shannon looking at? Look at the mirror. Yeah. There's the monitors that oh, we have. There's wild. the cameras. There's the other sets. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, that's so cool. It is that, a mirror. Uh, it is a mirror. Yeah. Now, while that's all cool and you know all that other stuff. It's extraordinarily difficult to get that coin perfect yeah. PR70 because the tiniest bit of anything keeps that from being 70. And when it's a mirror surface, it picks up everything. Oh, sure. yeah. And so uh, uh, this coin in proof 70 condition is extraordinarily, extraordinarily difficult to get. Uh, uh, we were just showing, Allison was just showing you, 4.8 star customer nice. pick. And we have sold, I think, 15 or 1,800, almost two. We're going towards 2,000 of these. There it is right there, I believe. Isn't that correct? 4.8 stars. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, 4.8 out, out of 5 star on the reviews. Look at those uh, fantastic reviews. Because when you get it at home, this is a curved coin. This is so cool. Okay, oh my so gosh. you can see the curved nature. That it is only the second curved coin ever done by the United States Mint. They did that 
so that you see this face shield, and that's that, that that's Buzz Aldrin's helmet, yeah. and that's the, the face plate on that, and that reflection is one of the most famous pictures in, in human history, is that picture with the lunar lander and uh, and Buzz, Aldr Buzz Aldrin's face shield, that's Neil Armstrong right there and the American flag, so that you're gonna have that. And now this is $1. This is an official United States government issue coin at this part. It's a huge customer pick. It is first day of issue. It is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. You put all of those things together. We have the Red Oak presentation box. All of That's those nice. things. And like I said, we have got, we've sold, I think we're going towards about 2,000 yeah. of these. So almost two, two thirds of the way sold out of the entire edition. That's critically important for you to understand. It's an ounce of silver. I want to get a look right here. 0.999 fine. So Apollo 11 is a big deal. So They'd already done a curved coin with the baseball coin, one of right. the fastest selling yeah. coins in the history yeah. of the United States. Been. I don't know if you remember when we released this coin. The night we released this coin, it was the day after they had released it, but we didn't have our samples yet. Oh, so we yes, literally, I if you remember, remember, we that. just we basically took a laser copy and put it in a, a put together sample holder, which we identified yeah. as such, right. and sold a thousand of them with a picture. Okay, well, now we have the actual coins in an ounce of pure silver that you're going to have right here in the curved coin. Now we realize how difficult they are to grade as well. So you have the only the second curved coin, but then they said, we have to do something to make this unique. We have to do something to make this absolutely special. And so it's the 999 fine silver. The United States government has made commemorative silver dollars for a very long time. Not a single solitary one of them has ever been made in pure silver. Oh, it's the first? Very first one. Oh, wow. It's always been made in 900 fine silver, all the commemoratives. Per perfect pure silver has been reserved only for the American Silver Eagle coin oh, wow. until this coin. So you've got the first basically pure silver coin at 9995 fine that you're going to have. You've got the curved coin, you've got Apollo 11, you've got it certified perfect, probably the most difficult to grade, uh, a modern issue American $1 commemorative because of, like I said, that beautiful uh, 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 thing that you have right there, that mirror field. You can see how it's curved in there, yeah. absolutely stunning on the curve that you're gonna have. We're gonna have the red oak presentation box, all of that in here, these are our Final quantities, it is 100% customer pick. My price has not gone up. This has been my original issue price. This is your original issue price. And like I said, every single one of the things that makes a collectible, this coin is all of those well, things. Well, you know what, and, and over and above everything that makes a coin collectible, meaning the interest in man on the moon. Sure. I mean, which is, you know, certainly there's there's a re been a renewed interest, certainly a, a bigger fever pitch than, mm -hmm. you know, in the last decade past. Mm -hmm. And it is also, available on flex pay with a 30-day unconditional mm -hmm. money-back guarantee so it's less than $50 on your credit card and no kidding when we say when Mike is here if you hear us say when you snooze you lose here's another one of those opportunistic moments with a little over a thousand of these to go around one other thing I know Mike and I mentioned it a little earlier in the show we do not limited limit quantities and you know it's right. one thing when you say that about a jewelry or a ring or a blender or, you know something like that but when you say it about a coin it, it is maybe even of more importance it's, it's it's of significance because these are collectibles. They Please are. understand that. The, the collectible nature of this is, is of critical importance yeah. to you. Uh, and, and that's what you're going to and that's what you're going to have here is the fact that it is a collectible, it is a customer pick. You have to understand this coin is 100 percent exclusive to us here at HSN. Nice. You can't get that anywhere else. Someone was asking me, and I'm going to show you, kind of give you a brief look at our next coin, okay. about the curved nature of the coin. Yeah. So here is the coin curved. I'm going to show you this here in just a oh, second. So you can see this. This is the five ounce piece we're gonna show you here in a minute, but that shows you the, the curve. There it is right there. Oh, That's wow. the five ounce coin, $599. Five ounces of pure silver, isn't that amazing? I'm just gonna leave that right oh, there, okay, cool. if you don't mind. I'm gonna move this back just there. There we go. Wow. And I'll, show, I'll get the package in that in just, just one second. So you can see that, see that. And that's the same curvature that's oh, on that's the neat. $1 coin that's that really you're neat. going to have right here. So you've got the pure silver. You've got the collectability. You've got the limited edition. You 
you got the fact that it's certified 100% perfect. It is first day of issue. It's exclusive to HSN. It comes with the Red Oak presentation box. Of course, it's a customer pick. So once again, that those all of your cons collectible concerns are 100% addressed in a coin like this. And you go, yes, okay, of course, this is a coin I must, must, must add to my collection. Oh, for sure. I mean, especially on FlexPay. I mean, come on, mm -hmm. at $50 on your credit card. I mean, why not at least put your toe in the water tonight? 659-692. And remember, I know Mike already indicated all of the parameters, why this checks every single box and then mm -hmm. some, not the least of which only available here at HSN and only available as long as these supplies last. Mm -hmm. So for $50, we say, why not? I mean, mm -hmm. why not indeed? Little, Basically the final 1,000. And you know, that's again, not counting those of you who are in the various forms of ordering or those mm -hmm. of you who are choosing to get more than one of these. Yes, and 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 that's the thing. Now this, I have very very few. This days. is so cool. Isn't this cool? Oh, I like this. So this is the United States Mint. This is the original mint packaging oh, that we're going man. to have right there. And we showed that real quick. What was it 19 remaining? Oh, actually, fewer than that. It, it, is yeah. it? Yeah. 15. 15. Yeah. Sorry, 15 remaining that you're going to have right there. So this coin Ooh. is five ounces of pure silver. Oh wow. The United States coming, the only five ounce coins they've done, you really get to see the backstage there. Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, the, the only five ounce coins the United States government has ever done have always been in the America the Beautiful series. That okay. was started in 2011. They have never done a reeded edge five ounce uh, silver coin. I, I think I said gold, these are silver actually. Uh, a reeded edge, and this is the only curved five ounce coin ever made wow. by the United States government. So it's the first of the curved coins. and and. When you see this coin in person, and this coin's been back ordered from the United States, been for a million years. I bet. Once you see this coin in person, it may well be one of the single most impressive coins ever released by the United States government. Over a quarter pound. Wow. Over a quarter pound of pure silver that you're going to have. It is that once again that Buzz Aldrin uh, helmet. There's the face plate shot. Face plate shot that is so famous. There's Neil Armstrong and the lunar lander. There's the American flag. That's his shadow and all of these incredible uh, 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 mirror fields make it so phenomenally difficult uh, to the, put together. Uh, indeed. Now remember, uh, Mike is here for the next hour and 15 minutes or so, and then he does have a primetime show coming up a little uh, later tonight. So Mike, what, what, what's going on here? Is this one of the coins that you were alluding to? Yeah, it okay. sure was. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this is one of those coins where uh, HSN, look, I've been here a long time. Sometimes HSN does things that I'm not right. necessarily a party to. <laughs> uh, this is one of those things, and what I'm alluding to there is the price break. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a coin that, that that's, the price break is completely and totally unnecessary. <laughs> uh, it would sell just fine at 479 or 499 or 599, right. the normal price, or 799, which is more likely the going price in the marketplace. The American Silver Eagle was, re was released in 1986. This coin that you see right here, the very first American okay. Silver Eagle. <sighs> when it was first released, it was released as a bullion coin, okay. just for the silver. And while it was a coin, they didn't really treat it as a coin. When you say bullion coin, is that something that people just melt down? Yeah, with? sure, or just keep for the or silver of it. Okay. Just same gotcha. as a silver bar. Okay. It was a silver bar that happened to be a coin. Gotcha. Now it's a coin that happens to be a silver bar. Now it is being, because when it first came out, people were going, oh, they make whatever of them, right, you know, right, right. and it was just silver. It was no big deal. Everybody back in 1986, and I was collecting and, and you know, and, and selling coins back then, you know, everybody's collecting barber coins and Morgan silver dollars and bust half dollars, and, you know, everybody's worried about things that are 100 or 150 years old. Nobody paid any attention to this, nor did the government. And so when they made these coins, and they made a fair amount of them, they were tremendously popular. They remain popular today. As a matter of fact, for instance, the American Silver Eagle, the 2019 American Silver Eagle is currently sold out from the United States oh, government. Wow. They're out. They're 100 percent out. Okay. The popularity has never been higher. So in 86, they made these. And of course, the 86 coin is five or six times rarer than, than the coins today. They made that much less. So all that's good and well. Here's the hard part. 
They didn't take a lot of care of these. People didn't take oh, care sure. of them. You didn't do that. Min state 70s are virtually impossible to get in the first year of issue. Today it is de rigueur that we go out and sell a min state 70 because we get brand new boxes. The mint takes care of them. We take the sealed boxes very carefully, deliver them to the grading company. Nobody did that in 1986. As a matter of fact, nobody was grading Silver Eagles in 1986. Nobody graded Silver Eagles until 1999 when I started grading. So I was the very first person to ever grade modern issue American Silver Eagles. They told me I was crazy. They go, who's <laughs> going to buy certified Silver Eagles? Well, as it turns out, everybody. That's right. <laughs> And that's why in 1999, those 1999 coins I sold for 40, because silver was two or three dollars an ounce. Yeah. So it was like 49.99 or 59.99 in 99 and 2000 when I'm selling these coins. Those coins are two, three thousand dollars today. To for me to get 86s, the first year of issue at 399 dollars. Now understand, this is also not an unlimited quantity. Right. It is. It's not one in NX, PCGS, oh. or NGC. You are not going to find this coin for less than $399. I just period. saw how few of these yes, we yeah, have. Yes, we have very few of these. Oh, man. And that actually, is... that's the biggest quantity of these available on the planet. Oh, no That's kidding. a hoard. So a few uh, dozen. A few dozen, 85 coins is a hoard. That is, okay. There's nobody else that has 10 of these coins. Oh, wow. Okay, no dealer that has more than okay. 10 of these coins. The average dealer inventory, if they have any, is one. Oh, wow. The only reason I did this and was able to do this, is we bought a huge hoard of early American Silver Eagles in the original government boxes. I had 86s, I think there was 15 boxes in there. 500 coins in a box. So that's 7,500 coins. <clears throat> Out of those 7,500 coins, I think we ended up with about 190 Mint State 70 1986s, which is massive. Oh, wow. I aired these last week. Yeah. We sold 100. <gasps> So that's why I have 85 oh, remaining. We, gotcha. This is the second airing I have. Uh, and like I said, HSN in their infinite wisdom decided to save <laughs> you an additional $80. And I can tell you right now, not really necessary. Look, you have first year of issue. You have absolute perfection. You've got a price that is that is just unmatchable in the marketplace amongst the, you know, Annex, PCGS, or NGC. You just can't do that. Uh, I just saw, you know, the, the other day, coins just sell for more than this. They do. $3.99 for the 19 1986 Mint State 70 is a tremendous, tremendous deal and opportunity because it's also one of those bookend years. It's also a first year of issue. Oh, sure. That's critically important to collecting. People always, always want first years, last years, yeah. rarest. That's kind of, you know, what you're looking at. Rarest is probably number one, then first year, then last year. <coughs> Interesting finishes. Uh, those are very important. So like we had the Kennedy half, enhanced reverse proof. This is first year. But understand in 86, they just weren't taking care of these coins. So mint state 70s, they're not like they are today. They're, they're right. 10 times, 20 20 times, 50 times, 100 times more difficult to get. Can you describe that for just a moment? Because parents who get a report card, they want 100 on right. their report oh, oh, card. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. You know? in, in coins, we're very unique folk here. Um, <laughs> we grade on a 70-point scale. 70 point. And that was decided by a guy named Dr. Sheldon, who wrote a grading book on pennies years ago. And he decided uh, it was a 70 point scale and we've just used it ever since. So Mint State 70, there's not a Mint State 100 or right. Mint State 71 or 70.1. Mint State 70 is absolute positive perfection in perfect. coins. That is perfect. Now the difference, like 1986 American Silver Eagle. Okay. I could sell you a Mint State 69 for $199.95. Right now. Right now. Okay. Mint State 70 coin, seven grand. Whew. Okay, that's, that's the difference, wow. 199 or 7,000. Uh, uh, that's the difference in grade. This coin in Mint State 69, I can sell you, I think we're $99. Sure. Okay, for this coin yeah. in Mint State 69, but Mint State 70 is 500 times rarer than wow. Mint State 69. So that's the difference in grade. Buy the highest grade you can afford. This is the highest grade that exists. It's an extraordinarily desirable coin because it's the very first year of issue. It is the highest grade. Also difficult to get in vintage American Silver Eagles. So to be able to get this coin in Mint State 70 at 479, spectacular, even 599 or 699, spectacular at 399. Oof. 
absolute, oh, customer pick again. We yeah. have a lot of customer picks. You do. Yes. We You're do. like the Andrew Lessman of coins. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you are indeed. Uh, don't forget, though, I, what we have is what we have. And Mike is back for a primetime show. It's probably fair to say, if this airs in your primetime show, this is also probably the last day where we'll see these. Yes. I mean, in all uh, like the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, at 85, so, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, I mean, at this point, literally a couple dozen. Remember, more people shop even off air than on. And when Mike, if this does appear in Mike's primetime show coming up later today, Last last day of issue here at HSN. How about that? So yeah. just keep that yeah, in mind. You, you know it is. So it's the last right, time that you'll that. see this. Okay, this is huge. All right, what do we got? The United States government is releasing a brand new coin set oh, okay. called the American Innovation Dollar Series. Right. It has been a huge hit, a huge success. They did the proof coins. Here's the thing. They're starting it, it, the series technically starts in 2019. Okay. We're gonna do American innovation, American innovators, or American entrepreneurs for every single state in the union, just like they did the state quarters. Okay. Four coins per year, starting in the order of statehoods. So we're gonna have Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Georgia this year. Okay. And it's gonna be released probably in, in the next couple of months. Which will be, it'll be huge. But what they decided to do, they've never done this before, they yeah. did an inaugural coin. Oh, okay. They released this 2018, so this is dated 2018. They released this December the 14th. Okay. So they made this coin for two weeks, okay? <laughs> what you have functionally here, what you have functionally here is the single rarest, the single rarest regular issue coin that the United States is going to oh, make wow. or has made probably in the last 30 or 40 or 50 years. Wow. Because what's made is made, what's done is done. This is the uncirculated version. Now here's the thing. They're not releasing a single solitary one of these into circulation. Oh. So you can't get it at the bank, you oh. can't get it at the post office, you can't buy individual coins. You have to buy either entire rolls or bags of coins. Oh, wow. There's no way for you to get, in essence, these coins for less than basically $40 for a Philadelphia Mint or $40 for a Denver Mint. Because oh, yeah. you have to buy a roll, or if you do bags, it's a couple of hundred bucks, $300. Here's what we did. We decided to say, okay, I know not everybody wants a hundred of each coin. So we did this special tube that's sealed, oh, as you I can see gotcha. right here. Yeah. We're gonna give you five P's and five D's. Oh, neat. Okay, with the American Innovation Series for $29.95. Oh, that's a It's a fantastic deal oh, wow. because it comes in this sealed holder that you're gonna have. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do five P's and five D's. This is what the coin looks like, and this is the common, this is gonna be on all the coins going forward. That's the obverse. I think it is brilliantly designed. Statue of Liberty, $1, and God we trust, that kind of puts it all, all right there in front of you. That's as simple as it can get. Now, this is only the inauguration series. Going forward, that will change. So you'll have like Pennsylvania, I'm sure will be Ben Franklin. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. uh, Delaware, I don't know. They haven't even released the designs yet, but oh, I wow. have these coins. And because of that, they made these coins literally for two weeks, that's it. They're already, they're never going to make another oh, coin. Man. It is already going to be one of the single rarest coins, regular issue coins ever put out by the United States government. This coin right here, as you see it, that's George Washington's signature right there? Oh, neat. As it appears on the very first patent that was ever issued by the United States government in 1790 for potash, uh, which is a component of fertilizer. Ooh, and, that's, and so he signed that. This is also interesting. That is the seal that is above the United States Patent Office in Washington, oh, D.C. Wow. As a coin geek, I find that tremendously interesting because it was designed by James Earl Frazier, who is the guy who designed the Buffalo Nickel. As a matter of fact, he's like a freak designer guy. He's got these little things all over Washington, D.C. You can't go anywhere without finding something that was designed and sculpted by James Frazier. Oh, it's just the way it is, and then this, is the U.S. design this gear pattern that will be for the Innovation Dollar Series. So here's the thing. You get the five P's, you get the five D's. Notice the edge lettering on those as well. That's, cool. That's why we did the clear holder. This holder, by the way, exclusive to me. Oh, so nice. you can't get this holder anywhere else. You can see, isn't that beautiful? There you have the, the, uh, the yeah. look of the coins and you can really see the edge lettering mm. that's on those coins as well. That's where the date's gonna be and, and E Pluribus Unum is all on, the, all on the edge of the coin so they could clear up the obverse and the reverse of the coin for design. Yeah. So they took care of their, you know, kind of took care of the business on the edge of the coin, and then they're going to go on this right here, so you can clean up this, and you can have this absolutely stunning image right here. Now, here's the deal. This is an auto ship. Right. 
$29.95 will get you every one of the P&D coins going forward, five P's and five D's. None of the coins, not just this coin, none of the coins will ever be released into circulation. Even none, as they move forward? Doesn't make it, even as they move forward, not a single one. That okay. has never happened. They have never made a coin series, a regular issue coin series, that has never been released. Oh, wow. They ha usually release it for the first year or two years yeah. or three years. This is literally collector only. It is quite literally, it is quite literally not going to be in the mint sets. So you can't just buy, oh, I'll just buy a mint set and I'll have a P and a D. Right. No. They're not doing that. These coins are not in the regular United States government issue mint set. I'll just wait and go down to the bank. Bank's not going to have any. They're not releasing any of them through the treasury. They are only available in bags and rolls. So to get individual coins is virtually impossible. That's why we did this. Oh, wow. That's why you've got this individual that you're going to have right there. So you're gonna have five P's and five D's. Now, if you look at underneath, you can see I don't, there's nothing in the middle because we right. have it covered up. Right. <clears throat> so these are all the available coins that you're going to have. Now, for those of you that are looking for a bit more, if you go to hsn.com, I do have an auto ship that's 10 and 10. Oh, gotcha. So it's filled okay. up in there if you want. Okay. It's 49.95 okay. in the auto ship. But this is just, I mean, this, this meets what we're trying to do. Complete and total, 100% affordability. So it's only 29.95. Now remember, that's $10 coins, but those are limited edition. They're gem brilliant uncirculated. They're certified genuine by us, as you can see right here. Uh, uh, there we go, here it is. Oh, nice. and, and so that's the 20 coin set. So okay. there's 10 P's and 10 D's. We have hundreds of people in this, okay? We have hundreds Hundreds of people in this already understand that that accounts for a huge percentage of the coins. Like the normal penny is gonna, they're gonna make two billion. Okay. This coin is going to be a thousand times rarer than a penny. Okay, the, yeah, the, the, ninth, the 2007 uh, presidential golden dollars, which is, this is a golden dollar. <coughs> they made millions of each one. There won't even be a million of each one oh, of these no coins. Kidding. No, no. There will only be literally hundreds of thousands oh. of each one of these coins. That is going to be the extreme rarity. And understand, this is the inaugural coin. So they've never done an inaugural coin set before. Huh. They've never done an inaugural coin set before. So the, in, the actual coin set starts this year, but you can't have the collection if you don't have right. this one. So understand, when you're looking at this, so we've already got like 550 people, I think, in the 20 coin Oh, room. nice. So now you have to understand, that's 10,000 coins. Okay, that's 10,000 coins. That represents a pretty significant I was gonna say. percentage of all the coins that have been made. So when we're yeah. selling them 10 at a time, and understand you can't buy the coins individually. I suspect the United States government may do a little two coin set, but if, if they follow their pattern, it'll be two coins for about 10 or $12 or $15, something okay. like that, plus shipping and handling sure. and all that. We're gonna give you five of nice. each coin. At this point, there's no way to get anything like that. You have to buy a roller, you have to buy a bag. Your minimum investment to get one of each, a minimum of one of each one of these coins is gonna be somewhere in the 70 or $80 Ooh, range. Wow. You'll be able to get that because you have to buy the roll with the shipping and handling and all that. So it's gonna be, I think it's closer to $80. Oh, wow. But you still get be. the 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. You of can course. still, you know, cancel at any time. Sure, if you just want this one, you don't want right. any of the coins going forward, that's 100% right. fine. Yeah. Absolutely no doubt about it. You can skip shipments. Right. Say, hey, I don't like the Delaware right. coin. I don't know why you, you would, you, but I mean, but, but you, you could. Sure, you can but send that back and then you're still in it, you can get the Pennsylvania. Right. Okay, I want. To, I like yeah. the Pennsylvania. Also, we have a nice box that will come with oh, this cool. that'll hold the rolls, oh, nice. of course, yeah. uh, uh, that come with that. Uh, certified uncirculated, every single one of these hand-selected for quality. But the key to this, I think, is the rarity, desirability, and for collectability sure. of this coin set, which is going to be unprecedented in modern American Well, coins. and you know what? Let's be honest. The price is right, too. Yes. I mean, it really is. At $29.95. I mean, it's, an, it's another great place to put your toe in the water and to jump in. 662-568. Remember, even you, you can slow down, you can speed up. I mean, all, all those great things. The whole, the really cool thing is you don't have to worry about how in the world are you going to complete your collection because Mike has done all the heavy lifting for you. He's also done all the heavy lifting in terms of, you know, preserving and protecting that coin moving forward with that great little roll design and that exclusive labeling as well. So we have one more hour tonight. And uh, so I'm up after dark and I am going to have to put the old lady shoes on, Mike. <laughs>
I got the old man I, shoes on, I so I get with you. The, I started with, you know, all good intentions. I started with the girl <laughs> shoes, and I'm like, the back ain't going to have it. <laughs> Going to the old lady's shoes. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime... I started with the old man well, shoes. Well, you know... <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not leaving you're, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> That's right. Uh, speaking of which, I've known Mike for well over uh, two decades. Mm -hmm. He is really uh, the person to watch and really listen to. I know that's one of the reasons people love watching your coin shows is because they, you really, it's really kind of a historical account of America. It's really a living history lesson. Also, great information for you to move forward. But you have to remember what, what you do here at our coin collector is really different from what we see other, you know, coin companies and collectible industries doing. And this is a nice place to start this hour, I think. I, I think so. This is, this is a very important coin. Yeah. Very important coin. Uh, Australia's made a lot of, uh, uh, of cool coins. We have the American Eagle coin in here. And a couple of years ago, they started a series that was called the Wedge-Tailed Eagle. So, there, you know, we have, of course, the Bald Eagle here. Uh, Australia has got the Wedge-Tailed Eagle that you're going to have. And when they started the Wedge-Tailed Eagle, what they did is they took this fantastic uh, coin, and of course the Australian, the Perth Mint, does, does amazing things. As you can see right here, uh, this is a big silver dollar. It's solid silver, it's stunning. Uh, the P stands for Perth, by the way, not Philadelphia, is what we're used to. But what they did is they made these fantastic collectible series. But the most important thing that they did with these collectible series is they limited the edition and they only do the design for one year and one year only. And that's exactly what we've got here. We've got an incredible limited edition, one single solitary year, one opportunity. I 